So joining us right now on the phone is the Office of Emergency Management Commissioner from New York City, John Scrivani. So, John, thank you for calling in this morning. You know, we talked about the unprecedented water. The sewer is doing exactly what they were designed to do. The problem is they were designed 100 years ago and the water just had nowhere to go. What are you seeing this morning? Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having me. Um, you know, what we're seeing is a lot of what you're showing on the news. Um, we're seeing, you know, areas that flooded. Unfortunately, people's basements that have flooded. Uh, we're seeing a lot of cars that were stuck on the roadways, and we're really working hard to, you know, make sure everybody is safe and get all the arteries open so that we can really start to work toward recovery this yeah. morning. Commissioner, what areas are hardest hit, most concerned to you at this hour, and what's being done to help the folks there? I mean, from what uh, what we've seen is Staten Island was heavily impacted in their uh, kind of north. E Northwest Shore, so we have a lot of people out there trying to go door to door and, and see what needs to be done. And he Queens was heavily impacted mm -hmm. uh, in the Flushing area, so we have you know people out there. We've had a few healthcare facilities that have had some impacts, so we're trying to make sure that those are all taken care of uh, early this morning and, and that there's no major impacts to any of the, the medical providers and a few nursing homes that had some issues um, that we're out there supporting. So. The, the impacts across the city, as you've seen, yeah. some of the roadways uh, in, across the city are flooded, but some of the hardest hit areas were in Staten Island and Queens. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we saw the, the large loss of life in Queens, yeah. right? Um, how are, what are you urging people to do right now in terms of if they need to be rescued from their home, how is the 911 system holding up? You know, was it inundated with calls, and what are you recommending people do if they need help, but it's not necessarily an urgent 911 emergency? Yeah, so obviously if it is an emergency and someone thinks it is an emergency, we want them to call 911. 911 is fully functioning. The, the NYPD uh, is handling that with no issues. They've brought in additional call takers so they can handle any call volume that comes in. If it is a non-emergency, we do want people to call 311. Um, if they have connectivity still, they can go to you know 311 online, the 311.nyc.gov, to report uh, some of the issues that they're having. Um, but that is, those are really the two mechanisms to request yeah. assistance from the city at this point. We will be working on uh, putting out additional information uh, this morning on what additional support uh, will be available to homeowners and to the residents of the city and to renters. Mm. Um, but really, we're just trying to identify all the areas right now and all the people that need support and get our, get our arms around it and prioritize it so we really can get out there and, and start the relief efforts mm. right away. How is your crew situation? Do you have enough staff? I know they've been working around the clock. Um, what is that at this hour when it comes to getting the people help that they need? Yeah, so one thing about New York City is we have a lot of resources. So when we, we saw this coming, we activated our EOC early yesterday. So I have my team uh, in what we call all hands. Mm -hmm. So at the emergency management side, we have uh, plenty of folks on board to coordinate and our field responders are doubled up so we can get out there and do any support to the other agencies that are needed. You know, obviously, the NYPD, the FDNY, sanitation, DEP, these are all large agencies that are used to handling mm -hmm. multiple events and multiple incidents at the same time. Uh, so we have no staffing concerns. We just did an agency head call, um, and everybody reported out what their priorities are and what they're doing. Right. And uh, we have a coordinated effort at this point moving forward. Uh, we are working with, you know, Con Edison as well on the on the uh, yeah. on the utility side, and we're working with MTA on the transit side to see if they need any of our a lot assistance. Of moving parts. Um, but we have a team effort moving forward. Right. Yeah, certainly well, a lot of moving parts. Commissioner, thank you so much for the update. Uh, we do appreciate it, and best of luck to your crews out there doing uh, really important work at this hour. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate your time.